This is a video guide and a tutorial for online teachers on how to create video lessons fast by using a screen capturing software which is free and open source and it is called OBS or open broadcasting software. I am using this software for few years now and I have already explained in one of my videos that you don't have to be an expert for using this software. Some of my YouTube subscribers they complained that this software has a lot of settings and they don't understand. So therefore I wanted to make this video to help those online teachers or tutors who are taking online classes. The video style which we will be learning today is as shown in this part of this OBS in which you are presenting something and your image is at the lower left corner. You can actually put your image on anywhere on the screen but normally we put on the left or right corner. But before I start if this is your first time my name is Tahir. On my channel you will find videos about many educational tools and technology for both students and teachers and if this is your first time please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday. And now let's dive into this video. If you just type OBS in Google you will reach on this website obsproject.com and then you click on download and you can download this software for your operating system. This is the logo of OBS and once you have installed the software then you click on OBS icon and you will see the interface. Now this software is very complex because you can use this software not only for video recording but also for streaming your video and for streaming there are lot of complex settings can be involved. If you are not using default settings then there are many options to customize your streaming settings on OBS. But as an online teacher your focus should be to make a video lecture. We don't want to go into technical details what are various options because I learned this from some of YouTube videos. I set my software and then I never changed it and I have made hundreds of videos by using the same setting. But in this video I am going to show you what are some of the critical settings which you should be paying attention to when you are using OBS and how quickly you should be able to make video lessons for your students online. So on OBS there are two very important parameters or you can say two groups are very important. One is profile and this is the profile tab and you can create a new profile, you can import or export a profile and you can rename a profile. These are my profiles and I have named them as class profile 1, 2 and there is one untitled. What are profiles? Every profile contains a group of settings. So now I have selected this profile and whatever settings I will make on this OBS, those settings will be stored in this profile which shows this tick mark. And we are going to talk about settings in a minute. But this is one of the most important parameter in OBS. The second important parameter or a group is called scene collection. And scene collections is a collection of scenes and resources. So if you look at the lower side of your software, you will see that we have scenes and we have sources. So what you are looking here is this scene. And if I click on this scene, there are some sources I have added to this scene. What are sources? Sources is my webcam. This is my webcam and this image is captured by my webcam. Then there is an image displayimage2.png. This is an image file uh, which is this blue one which is behind me. So at the top I have a camera source then there is an image then there is another image which is ineffective because this image is behind this image. So if I bring this image one step above and now as you can see that my background color has changed because when I planned this video I planned two different images one with a blue background and one with a black background and these two sources are here. So a source can be a camera, a source can be an image, a source can be your screen of the computer. So the next one is my screen and if I bring this screen behind my camera now as you can see now the software is capturing my screen 
and because the screen has a screen so you can see a screen inside a screen and a inside a screen and this goes on and on so i did not want to distract you during this lecture therefore what i did is i put an image source on top of the display capture so display capture is another type of source so if you click on this plus these are all sources which you can have you need a video capture device for example your webcam if you want to show your image at the corner because teacher's image at the corner of the video always improves engagement period some say that if you don't put your image student will be more focused but i don't believe this students want to see you students do not like online learning and it becomes even worse if they don't see their teacher so always try to put your image at the corner so you need a video capture device an audio capture device and a display capture so what you do is you actually create a scene and now let me put this image back here i think blue is better and now you will see there are two other scenes here and sometimes i use one note to create my videos sometimes i use powerpoint to create my videos and i have made these two scenes because there are slight changes so what i will do is i will show you how to create a new scene and then you will understand everything from the scratch but before i do that there are few critical settings in the obs which you should understand and not many so you click on file then you click on settings and this dialog box will open and you don't have to worry too much about uh, any of these settings i'm going to discuss only the ones which are required otherwise we will be using the default settings language default settings then you check this automatically check then you enable this and sensitivity you can take 10 or whatever is the default then you keep this setting enable and this is multi view top next is the stream settings we are not discussing streaming in this video because i will make a separate video if you are an online teacher who want who wants to stream then this video is uh, may not be helpful because we are not discussing streams then in the output tab there are few things you should note there are two modes one is the simple and one is advanced if you click on advanced you will see a different type of interface but i am not talking about advanced because this simple is good enough keep all these default settings except two important things the first one is the location where you want to store your recordings so you can select by clicking on this browse and then you can select a folder the second important thing is the format by default it will be flv format but most of the times we like mp4 format and therefore we change it to mp4 so these are the two settings you will have to change then in audio you can keep everything whatever is by default you don't have to change anything in the video settings you can keep these two settings or you can change this to 1920 by 1080 as well then you can select some hot keys but uh, we are not interested in hot keys at the moment in the advanced settings the only thing you might uh, want to change is this row this is the file name formatting and let me show you these are some of the recordings and this is the file format in which my next recording will be saved so there is year then month date and time and i like this because what happens is the latest video always be at the bottom of my folder but if you want to change this only then you can change this parameter otherwise you don't have to change anything so i click on okay and now our settings are done now the next thing is we want to create a scene so let us see how you can create a scene so i click on this plus sign and i call it test scene for this video so i click okay and now you will see this blank screen and now you have to add sources and basically you need only three sources a display capture an audio capture if you are using a high quality audio and if you are using the audio from your webcam then you don't have to worry about audio you only need two sources one is your webcam because you are using the audio from your webcam and a display capture for displaying your computer screen so first i add a video capture device and then i click on this add existing and i select my logitech c920 webcam and i click on okay 
and as you can see that now my uh, webcam is showing here uh, the complete area is covered by my webcam i don't want this because i want to present something from um, for example microsoft whiteboard or a powerpoint so what i do is i click on these corners and i can reduce the size to whatever i want now i add the second source which is the display capture i can give it a new name so let us say whatever is the default name because we like defaults we don't want to mess up with the settings so i click ok and if you want to show the cursor uh, you check this box otherwise you can uncheck and then you click on ok and this is the point where many get confused because what is happening here is that you are looking at many screens and they are not adjusted properly and i am going to show you the easiest way to adjust this screen this is trying to capture the complete screen of my computer as you can see the corners these are the edges of my display this is my complete display but normally i don't want this for example i want to explain something on this whiteboard i want to keep this whiteboard application open in a part of my total display screen so how to adjust this this is very important and you should pay attention when i open my obs software i have this boundary of the obs software this is the first thing you should note you resize the window of your whiteboard on which you want to explain to your students or if you are using a powerpoint application you open the application you resize the window equal to the window of your obs both window size should be same the obs window and the whiteboard application window or the powerpoint application window make those windows of the same size and this works for me and i am not saying that this is the perfect way to do that there might be some better ways don't put in the comments that you know a better way i am just trying to tell most of you guys who always get confused at this stage how to set this so the first thing you what what you do you set the window of your obs at an appropriate size my obs windows as you can see is it has some distance from edge of my display then it has a distance from edge of my top and from right and from bottom so i want to display only this area to my student and now if i want to display powerpoint i will open powerpoint application i will resize the window to the obs window size if i want to display on whiteboard so i have resized this to obs window size so this is first step the second step is now you want to cover this screen inside your obs from this corner of this window to this corner so to do that you click on this red dot you expand this and you try to because you can't see it here try to imagine that how big this part has become and then you release that and you click on this window and you bring it inside and now if i put this corner at the corner of this uh, display area this corner is still not here so what i do is i still have to make this a little bit larger so i make it a little bit larger and now i click inside and i bring this corner where obs is written at the left top corner and the other corner of the window where you can see that something is written here now this has reached in the lower right corner now everything is fine now what you do is you bring your camera at the top and it will be shown here if you want to move your image to the right you can take this to the right then you go back to your whiteboard and once you have set this whiteboard and also the location of your image then you simply have to click on start recording so let me click on start recording and once i see this stop recording sign it means the recording is on and now i can open my whiteboard and i can start explaining to my students i can still resize it if i want that something is not uh, clear i can resize it tweak a little bit so that i can see the whole size so first what you do is you record a very short video a test video and you check the corners if for example you can see all these pencils appearing from this side and anything from this corner and all four corners is inside then you are happy and then you can keep the window sizes of your applications a powerpoint or whiteboard on which you are taking lectures to the same size and then everything will be fine 
so once you have done the recording you click on stop recording and it will stop and now you go back to your uh, folder and you click on this video and you can run the video and as you can see uh, that this video has been recorded and the pencil size were fine when I was recording this video and now my picture is uh, at the right corner perfectly as I wished and everything is fine. So in this way you can create educational videos which look amazing and your students will love these video lessons. So now let's go back to scene uh, this scene and uh, this is it. Now as you can see that it is very easy uh, to create some amazing video lessons by using OBS. Uh, OBS is not very hard. You just use default settings and only few important things uh, for example the folder in which you want to store the files the format of the files and other few things which i explained in this video you only have to change these settings so i hope you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time